My dad dedicated his life to serving others. From an early age, working with his dad in a hardware store in Michigan, you know, he learned to service their customers. People would come in, buy something, and not know how to use it, so he would actually follow them home and help them with their, their household project, whatever it might be. He continued to serve. He was in the U.S. Army, started a career in politics where he was a legislator and finally lieutenant governor of Michigan and many, many civic organizations uh, throughout that time. I left politics in 1978. I joined a large real estate company that had offices in various cities around the country. My role with them was to do acquisitions, and we did several acquisitions. Uh, but later, I got more involved in the management side of that company and uh, actually designed a system very much like the original quantum system that I introduced here in 1985. So uh, it, was a, it, was a, it was a progression from politics through the real estate industry to quantum systems to serve the real estate industry. My dad always loved technology, and he knew technology was going to be important in making this service fast and affordable for our customers. One of the challenges with the printing technology of that time was to be able to print images uh, such as a company logo using a dot matrix printer. That had not been done up to that point. And working with the programmer, they figured out a way to fool the printer to think that it was actually printing a font when, in fact, it was reproducing company logos. That one key feature is really what made the service possible. I joined the company in 1992, taking over the majority of the day-to-day -day operation from my dad. Coming from a service background myself, I'm committed to the same level of service as my dad and his father before him. Because we were so far ahead of our time with the service, it was difficult for the market to understand that such an automated one-stop solution existed. We wanted to make it so fast, easy, and affordable that our customers couldn't afford not to use the service. Well, after much persistence and sacrifice, attending trade shows, promoting our business, and building relationships with our customers, our customers finally began to realize what we were offering them was the gift of time the time to handle those tasks that are best handled by them personally. We continue to innovate and improve the system, never being satisfied with good enough. My dad and I would often ask the rhetorical question, are we there yet? So after looking at us today, you tell us, are we there yet?